Track 1.16. Reading time 2. Activity 1. Mystery on the beach. April lived on a small island off the coast of Africa. Her cousin Sandy was visiting her from Australia. One evening, they were following a rocky path down to the beach. The scenery and the views across the sea were beautiful. Look at all the kayaks, said April. Have you ever been kayaking? No, I haven't, replied Sandy. I've been sailing, but I've never tried kayaking. Let's go one day, suggested April. It's a great way to explore the island. Can you tell me more about the island? asked Sandy. Of course, said April. We have some of the best beaches in the world, as you can see. And in town, there are beautiful houses, palaces and gardens. We'll visit them while you're here. Great, said Sandy. And what about the history of the island? Well, replied April, it used to be an important trading route. People used to come here from all over the world to sell things like sugar and spices. Many of them decided to stay on the island. Our food is a mixture of lots of different cultures, like Portuguese, Indian and Chinese. Hmm, it's delicious. My mum will cook us something amazing tonight. Suddenly, Sandy stopped. Shh, listen, he whispered. I think I can hear something. They looked down to the sea and saw a small boat arriving with three men on board. They could hear the men shouting to each other. Look! There's the beach, over there, shouted one of the men. Shh, be quiet. Do you want someone to hear us? said another, trying to speak quietly. April and Sandy looked at each other with wide eyes. What do you think they're doing? asked Sandy. Do you think they're traders? No, not in the 21st century whispered April. But I think they're doing something bad. Maybe they're smuggling gold or silver. The men jumped onto the beach and took two spades from the boat. They looked around to make sure that they were alone. Then they started digging. Look, they're digging a hole, exclaimed Sandy in surprise. They're going to bury something. No, I know what they're doing, said April angrily. We have to do something about this. We can't get a phone signal here, but follow me. We need to get back to the road. Uh, it's through those trees and up the hill. We can get a signal there and call the police. Two hours later, April and Sandy were back on the beach talking to two police officers. Well done, kids, said one of the officers. He pointed to the three men. This is the Turtle Gang. We finally caught them. Sandy turned towards April. What's the Turtle Gang? he asked. Hawksbill turtles are a very important part of the wildlife on the island explained April. They return to the beaches every two or three years to dig nests and lay their eggs. The villagers look after them and protect the nests. But the turtle eggs are very valuable. People pay a lot of money for them. Oh, so those men were stealing their eggs, exclaimed Sandy. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, it is, said the police officer. But thanks to you two, the turtle eggs are safe. These men will never steal another egg.